Farida and if you're just watching for the very first time thank you so much for clicking and before you go it will mean the world to me if you subscribe like this video and share it to someone that you may feel that it's going to be very important to the person to learn one or two things so my channel is all about where i post um, natural tips and uh, remedies for hair growth and skin problems and i also share my scar journey remover um, journey with you you know if it's something you like please i would love you to stick around by subscribing to this channel give it a thumbs up and share it to uh, someone out there so today our uh, topic is a very highly requested via video you know i keep getting um questions like um when are you going to post uh what do i do if i'm the one using it which i would advise you if you're using a red light it's fine you can use it by yourself but if you're using a blue light that is where the problem is you have to get someone to do it for you but if you still insist on doing it i'm going to share some tips that will be beneficial for you while you're doing that so stick to the very end because i have like a bonus tip at the end okay yeah so um i have a book here so in case i'm looking down you know i'm trying to get some points in here so yeah number one is make sure you get yourself a long mirror like a very long mirror the one you can see through and you can sit down in front of it it has to be long and very wide you can see through what you're doing so that you don't make mistakes the reason why i'm saying this is that you need to be very careful because second has the uh, ability to make to help you reduce your reduce your scar and clear your scar and it also has the ability to help you widen the scar and even enlarge the scar more than it was before yes it can do that so i'm trying to put the pros and cons out there so when you are seeing everything you think okay it's all rosy no it's not there's still some back things you need to do there's still some things you need to do at the end okay so make sure you get a long mirror while you're doing it make sure you're seeing through what you're doing and it's clear it's visible it's transparent that's your what you're gonna get okay so i have a picture of a long mirror you could use you could see it here um number two is make sure that your hands is precise direct is on the position where your scar is you don't want to start going where your scar is not it will keep enlarging okay make sure that you have it your hands are in the exact scar position so yeah that's number two then number three is make sure that you mark the area okay you mark the area where the scar is okay you feel like okay you know what this is at this point at this point you at this point at this point this is where i'm going this is my the beginning of my scar and this is the end of the scar so you just mark the points you can use a marker you can use anything that works best for you just as long as you know where you're going to begin and where you're going to stop and you go back and forth like that and you're not stopping until it's your break point okay please i'm sorry if you hear noise ignore the the, the the background noise it's that's one of the reasons why i put background music which i stop okay so yeah number uh four is try and wear transparent glasses you really need to wear a transparent glass wear a transparent glass a glass that you could see through <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this, but yeah, we are transparent glass. This is glass that you can see through. It can be with prescription, it can be without prescription. But just anything that protects your eyes, anything that, because the light is very, 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 very intense, okay? Especially if you're dealing with the blue light. If you're using the red light, it's fine. You cannot, you don't need it, but you can still use it because that those are also lights too. So if you're using red light, you can still use glasses, which you can or you cannot but if you're using a blue light i recommend you to get a glasses a transparent glass that you can see through what you're doing okay then number five will be um make sure your hands are on the position where your scar is okay make sure it's on a position where your scar and you go back and forth back and forth back and forth i will set a video clip on what on this this thing <music> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that little video clip, okay? So just to show you where um, where to begin and where to stop and how to make sure that your hands are on directly on... Make sure the, your hands are on the machine and your machine is directly on the scar. That's what I mean, okay? Then uh, number six is... Uh, number six is pay undivided attention to the scar area, okay? Uh, where you're working pay on or undivided attention to where the scar is so your eyes are like 
okay this is where i'm going to start this is where i'm going to stop that will help to shrink the scar after you're done okay to shrink that scar okay then number uh seven i think yeah number seven is um make sure that you are controlling the machine without shifting and turning and you know you're you're in a static very very exact position you're not turning and you're not doing you 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 understand what i'm saying okay you're not turning one way or the other you're not disturbing yourself getting up and doing one thing or the other know that if you're going to do it stay in one position when you're done you can stand up not go from one place to another and lot like that you get so you need that you need that okay then um make sure that you are um you're comfortable with the pain before you start okay maybe you can test run the the machine on yourself and you feel okay if i can tolerate this this pain because you're going to be feeling it while you're doing it so you need to be very comfortable with the pain level while you are doing it on yourself because you might start and then you begin to oh ah you, you know be screaming <laughs> you can start screaming and that is another problem okay because that can make you shift and all that so you make sure you just run it on yourself or your body before you do it so you have an exact idea of what the pain level is going to be like when you start okay i hope you get the point okay then my bonus tips is start from the lowest to the highest okay start from the lowest to the highest you don't want to begin your journey from the highest intense because you will feel like that's how the pain level is but when you start from the lowest you already get yourself accustomed with the pain then you move to the medium then you move to the lowest and to the highest okay so the the lowest position the lowest intensity is the the highest bar there you can see on the picture there the highest bar is the lowest intensity the, the medium bar is the medium intensity that's the average intensity then the, the shorter one is the highest intensity that's where the pain gets in okay then the <clears throat> but at some point you even feel like it's the same thing because you already get used to the other levels so when you get to the um the um the highest you won't feel it because you're already used to the pain level of the other ones okay you won't notice it okay then the final um you start from the and you you're very comfortable with the pain level of the the lowest then you move to the that's what i'm saying so as soon as you're you're already comfortable you can move from you know one level to the other you can even start from you know the level the highest level and the same thing goes for frequency start from the um, number nine is the lowest frequency you start from nine you work your way down to one and one is the highest frequency so yeah that's the people i have for you i'm trying to make this video very short and very short okay so uh if you have any questions like i always say if you have any questions you would like me to attend to you can send them to my gmail account on the screen and also you can send them to my instagram account follow me on instagram click um just you know send me a message and i will reply as soon as possible those who have been sending me a message will testify that because i'm very when it comes to answering questions like that i know it's very sensitive and it's um it's a very sensitive you know topic itself so i dedicate my time into answering it as you know as clear as possible okay so you can send me your questions send me pictures of whatever you want the questions you have on my gmail account or my instagram I will be more than happy to attend them so if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video please please okay okay I'll be nice it would have been really nice to just hit that subscribe button so yeah thank you again thank you for the constant support if you for, for those guys who have subscribed oh my god thank you guys so much for the support I'm really grateful and um, yeah thank you God bless you and please Stay safe out there. Be blessed. God bless you. Take care.